but that God would raise up his church where Jew and Gentile, slave and free. Ed Dobson was a teacher, a pastor, a writer, and a mentor. Marvin Williams worked with Dobson. He, uh, we would consider Ed Dobson a pioneer. Um, he did things that nobody else did. He actually took risks that nobody else would take. He was one of the first to introduce a contemporary Saturday night service to try to reach more people. And he said, let's, let's see how we can reach them through drama, through contemporary music, through a, you know, a, shorter, a shorter but relevant message. He believed in diversity hiring Marvin Williams as a pastor. Being the first African-American at a large white church in West Michigan, Calvary Church, um, he took a chance, he took a risk. Touched the lives of many. Whether, whether you knew Ed Dobson directly, you probably knew someone who knew someone who knew someone who was impacted by him. And passed on life lessons. Is uh, preach the Bible, love people. Preach the Bible, love people. Fifteen years ago, Ed Dobson was diagnosed with ALS. He soon retired as Calvary's pastor, but didn't stop teaching, creating a film series called Ed Story. Uh, Ed Story is a seven film series about hope in the midst of suffering. Mark Boss was the creative director on the films. I think Ed's legacy, as I experienced it, was no matter what life threw at him, he continued to live a life full of hope. Healing is more than the cure. It's wholeness with God. He gave his life to something larger than himself, and the result of that was an impact that was broader than anyone could imagine. That's healing to me. His legacy will live on. In Grand Rapids, Steve Zagman, WZZM 13 News.